Hey, hey, greetings, greetings, good afternoon, and welcome to the yin yang of sales. Today we're talking share, we're talking like, we're talking um, fight, we're talking push. What are we talking? We're talking dominate or compete. Are you competing? Are you dominating? Or are you just um, you know, playing little games and getting little results? So today's stream is really about how do you take yourself, your business, and your dreams to the whole next level, to the whole next level. So um, if you're on the stream, go comment, go share, go like. We'd, we'd love to reach your friends and your family so we could share with them um, the message, the message from the yin yang of sales. So it is really a wonderfully cold day here in Johannesburg, wherever you find yourself. I hope that um, I hope that it's a little warmer. We're just waiting for Stephen Van Busten, the amazing Mr. Inner Game Guru, to come and join us. Uh, to come and join us here on the. I'm show. here. Oh, Mr. Van Busten, have you arrived? <laughs> I'm busy sharing Yo. Facebook. I'm busy sharing to the people on the planet. <laughs> uh, but let me. Very good. Very attention. good. Let me give you my attention. Ah, oh, there you are. Welcome, man. Are you good? Very good. Very good. Fantabulous. Like a winter's day, a beautiful, beautiful South African winter's day. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Um, we've had two extremely cold days, but as you can tell, Stephen's out and about killing it, um, even in this cold. Good people, let's, yeah. let's talk a little bit about who we are and why we are here. For those of you who don't know us, we're the yin yang of sales. We two boys who came from the from the lower side of the economic spectrum. We're, we're two guys who came out of um, very little and wanted a lot, lot more. Somehow we found the gift of sales and um, sold our way out of the ghettos into the middle class. Today we spend our days um, helping business owners, salespeople um, to get in front of more prospects so they can pitch and close more deals and ultimately make more money. Steven and I focus specifically on a unique methodology using some of the greatest tools from Dr. John Demartini, NLP, Mind Power, um, to Tony Robbins, Tom Hopkins, um, and a yeah. host of others who've influenced us to create this beautiful process and program. Steven is focused on the inner game. Steven, do you want to do a quick intro on the inner game for people so they can get your insights? Sure, sure. Listen, um, you know, somebody once said, um, I think, therefore I am. And uh, philosophically, that may be true or not. But it makes a very good point. We, we do deem to feel that we, we live in our heads, we live in our brain, we live in our mind. Um, that, you know, that's the thinking part. And the, you know, although we experience all sorts of things, we experience pain, we experience emotions, we experience happiness and sadness, etc., etc., and those are often felt in different places. We certainly process in the, in the brain, in the mind, and, uh, you know, we, we certainly also know after years and years of, of working on, with this that, um, you know, that little inner game, that little inner voice is, um, uh, is part of, of, of who you are and what you are and what you're creating. And, uh, you know, over time, we've realized more and more that, you know, you can, you can focus your mind, you can focus your brain, you can focus the inner game, uh, and it starts to bring you more and more of, of what, you're, what you're after, what you're asking for, what, you're, what you believe in, and, and what, what you keep repeating uh, over and over and focusing on over and over. So, uh, you know, in our opinion, I know that uh, Maharaj is, is in agreement that uh, you know when you add the inner game to the outer game you really start to take things to uh, uh, the next level so you know very much the inner game the secret you know the the, the um, law of attraction is very real but at the same time you know you need to get out there in the real world and and make some of uh, of it of it happen yourself so there's a fine balance between the law of attraction and the law of, of karma, sow and reap, get out there, take action, make things happen, and, um, you know, and, uh, and not just, not just uh, relying on the, on the inner game and the visualization, etc., but, uh, you know, getting there and actually 
I'll be that in the game with the out of game. How's that, Maharaj? Does that, Very does well that... said. Very well said, young man. Ooh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. So um, today we're talking about dominate or compete. You'll find that we come every Monday at 1 p.m. live on Facebook. Um, we come via this, the Zoom stream so that we can get to as many people as possible. And the reason for this is we want to share with you, you know, in our, in our vision statement, we talk about sharing the gift of sales. It's a gift that keeps on giving. The, the more you sell, the more you earn, the more you earn, the more you can, you can sell, the more you can share. So the truth is um, for you to grow your sales, for you to grow your business, your opportunity, you're going to have to get out of your head, like Stephen reflected, and actually move into that action zone. Our topic today is dominate or compete. And it's such a, an important um, point of, of um, departure. Forgive my academia, yeah, but it's a, it's a powerful place of choice. It's a powerful place of, of creation. And, and let's understand why. Um, there are many businesses and many salespeople who do just enough not to get fired. There are so many salespeople who do just enough not to get fired. And in doing so, they do themselves a disservice. They do their kids a disservice. They do their company and their country a disservice because they are playing too little. They are playing too small. So our message today is how do you raise your activity so that you can start dominating. If you think about dominate, it sounds like a bad word. It sounds like a negative thing, but actually um, this, this, the man, mankind itself dominates planet earth. It's a byproduct of who we are. Um, if, if, if the lions were dominating earth, we'd all be in hiding right now. But what we've done is we've captivated, we've caught and held captive the lions in a reserve so they don't eat us, but we can eat them. <laughs> so, so at that high level introduction, we want to take salespeople to become dominators because if you think of any business or any brand that's ever crushed it on the likes of, um, from the likes of Apple and Samsung to um, brands like South African breweries, like um, Coca-Cola, McDonald's, any big business that, that you can think of that's still crushing it after so long, they must be doing something right. Hey, Steve. So, so if these brands are, are doing something right, we have to ask ourselves, what is it that sets them apart from brands that fail? So let's talk about some brands that have failed. You and I would remember Kodak. Um, your mom and dad used to buy the little film used to put it into a camera and take pictures over the holidays. And then you would drive to a store and they would develop those pictures. Who develops pictures today? Only people getting married, when somebody dies, and maybe when your kids um, won an award at school. I can't think of any other reason for people to develop photos. We have them on our phones, we have them on our laptops, we have them on our hard drives. It's put those businesses out of business. You think about a Sony Walkman, it's gone out of business because we have digital music. They could not evolve. Now. Relative to the salesperson, you know, the salespeople, I think one of the reasons why salespeople are so atrocious, <laughs> and I'm going to say it like it is, um, I think, and, and Stephen, even though we're talking dominate here, I think dominate's an inner game um, pro problem. It's an inner game problem because I'm not committed. I am not committed. And if I'm not committed, how can I dominate anything, right? So, yeah. so, so, so from an inner game point of view, Tell me, how do, you, how do you raise this dominate spirit that you go to war for your dreams and you just don't sit at home and hope and pray? Yeah, so firstly, Vinesh, I mean, I think we all need to realize that the planet we've landed on this time round um, is a planet that, is, uh, that, that has the survival of the fittest kind of methodology working for it. So by the mere fact that we're still alive means we... we we have survived and, and we, we are fitter than someone else, you know? And when you think of all of the, the people who have died young or died before us or died of diseases or got cancer or et cetera, et cetera, um, they, they didn't survive because they weren't fit. So by default, we, we are already in a dominate world, you know? You know, John Demartini speaks about this. If you, if, if 
you look at where you are in, in, in kind of a hierarchy on earth, you look up, those are the people who are dominating you. You look down and those are the people you dominate. So, for example, the MD of a company, right? In, a, in an interesting way, and I know dominate's a strong word, but, but he has the power, right? Dominate yep. is power. Yep. So, so when you employ people, you have power over them to a degree. You dominate them by giving them a job description and doing, doing quarterly reviews and telling them what to do and telling them what you expect and shouting at them when they don't do it. And, uh, and, and creating employees that, that you like. But then at the same token, you know, two weeks later, you have a meeting with a board of directors, your board, and they dominate you. Oh, why haven't you done that? Why haven't you done that? You're the MD. Uh, why, haven't you, why haven't you thought of this? You, last time you committed to this, why aren't you doing it? So the people above you uh, are, are dominating. We also, you know, we also pray and um, pray at, uh, and pray at the same time. So. To an interesting degree, uh, we as salespeople pray, P-R-E-Y, on, on prospects. We are, we are hunting them. We are looking for them. And, uh, we, you know, we, we pray on them. But at the same time, there are people that are, that we are, we are the, um, being preyed upon by uh, people who are trying to sell to us. So they are the predator. Um, and, 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 and that's just the way it seems to happen. There's this circle of life where the, where the uh, the lion eats the buck, okay, but the buck eats the grass. Yep. So the buck's a predator to the grass, and uh, and uh, and prey to the the lion. And so we need to decide where we are in this in this um, structure ourselves from a sales and business and life perspective. Are we? Because listen, the buck has a beautiful life, and it feeds the lion. That's a, that is a very stunning. Thing to do and, the, and and you know the red indians were stunning with that when you you only killed as much as you would eat and um you know you prayed before and then you thanked the buffalo thank you so much for your coat it's going to keep me warm thank you so much for your meat it's going to feed me you know there was a there was an honor and a humbleness there and, right. and we need to decide you know where we are in this in this game if we if we're going to if we're going to just be happy to go along and be whatever happens, or if we're going to, if we're going to intervene, if we're going to get involved and try to make it happen faster, or try to make it happen better, or try to make it happen quicker, uh, you know, and and dominate or not. That, that's the real question. Yeah. Was that a bit of a long answer to a short question, bro? <laughs> but but well but well said. You know, I mean, you're right. We have a choice. Um, confront the reality. The reality is that. Um, we're in a cycle of life and in that cycle you either prey or predator and everybody's prey and predator um, everybody so so in the sales context you know do you want to do you want to you know close um, just by enough to not get fired or do you want to take so much action so that you can close the door on the competition you know one of the one of the greatest gifts you can give your company is to shut down another company <laughs> you know this it's like sales warfare. If you close down yes. a company and you steal territory and you steal clients, and when I say steal, I don't mean in theft. I mean through great products, through great service, through, through great sales, through um, a great sales experience, that's how you steal sales. You're not, you're not holding a gun to somebody's head and saying, give it to me. No, I'm earning it. So we're earning that territory. There's no greater gift you can give yourself than to decide when I take control of my prey predator cycle of life in sales, am I going to prey on opportunity and maximize that? Or am I just going to continue to survive? And there's, there's merit to both. I get why people just want to survive. It's not high in their values. They don't have a need to win. They don't have a need to impress the boss. They don't want to impress their wives. They don't want to impress their kids. They don't want to go to holiday in Paris. They don't want to um, go see the Louvre and the Eiffel Tower. It's not high in their values. Um, they just want to live a simple life and keep on keeping on. And that's great for them. But I think the people we deal with and people like us um, aspire for more. We want, in, in your words, we want better buck. We want better um, grape yes. juice. We, we, yes. we, want, we want to refine the things in life. So, yes. go. Vinish, one quickie, man. Listen, I love, I love like, talking about Pepsi and Coke. So, and there's so many 
Yeah, I mean, this is a massive war, okay? And and it, and they see it as a war. They they see, you know, when 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 Coke takes some market share from Pepsi, they they it, it's a war. They took it. They it's a fight. It's and they went up. You know, now one of the issues here is in South Africa. And excuse me for this. You know, I think we 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 wussy, and and so we we can't have competitive advertising for some reason for consumerism, and also the government gets involved with. You know, we, we probably wouldn't be able to have a full-scale war where either Coke or Pepsi wins right. because government would let in and the anti-monopoly laws and all of that. So, but, but those laws are, are actually getting in the way of natural evolution of, of the, the best man winning. And you know, I, re, I remember my friend um, was a Volkswagen fan. And, he, he, and, and Volkswagen had to send out videos surreptitiously on crash test tests that were done, showing the difference between, let's say, a Toyota in a crash uh, and, um, and a Volkswagen in a crash. And, but they weren't allowed to show it in South Africa. But it clearly showed that the other car, whatever it was, when you had a head-on collision, the steering wheel and the steering shaft came through, hit you underneath your, your chin and killed you. Whereas in the Volkswagen, it crumbled. Okay? But they, they were not allowed to show that because of of the anti-laws in South Africa, right? But uh, but that was a unique selling proposition of note, and also just a you know survival of the fittest. I'm gonna I'm gonna sh I'm gonna highlight the competitors' weakness and my strength, so that uh, we win the war. Powerful analogy. So I love that Coke story. Um, you know, and and Coke, Pepsi, Volkswagen, Toyota, Mercedes, BMW, whatever the brand is. These guys are at war. I agree. Um, it is the survival of the fittest. And it's the, it's, the, it's the man and the woman who's going to have more edge, more hunger, more determination, who's going to push for, for the result that they want. You know, it reminds me of a story of um, BMW um, received a, a fiber thread that was so thin and it was an advanced technology at the time. And it was sent by one of their competitors to them to say, See what we've achieved. You can only dream about this. Guess what happened? BMW then took that fiber thread and they created a drill point so minor, so small, minuscule, that it drilled through the whole of that fiber thread. And then they returned it to the competition and they said, ha, 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 the jokes, the laughs on you. See what we did. So the, even they are yeah. having this ongoing competition. And, and let's be honest, um, right now, um, Edgar South Africa closed down, you know, or is in, is in um, liquidation. SAA possibly in liquidation. All these businesses are folding because they're being preyed upon by the economy, the economic situation. They're being preyed upon by the competition because as soon as they leave, somebody else will fill that void. There's nothing wrong with dominating. I think dominating has to be a way of life because if you don't dominate your home, a predator will break in at two in the morning, armed to the teeth, to take your hard-earned wares and maybe even your life. So, so mm -hmm. we, have to, we have to raise our thinking in sales and business that this is war. We were gentlemanly, like lawyers, we are gentlemanly in suits. We, what we'll use, instead of using guns and knives, we will use the letter of the law. In sales, we'll yeah. use the letter of the intellect, the unique selling proposition, the speech, the thinking, the preparedness, the plan, and the pitch. And the inner belief that I bless my customers with my product. Mm. Look, it's a war, it's a crusade. Yeah. I save my customers from the competition yeah. because they're a dastardly bunch. <laughs> indeed, indeed. So, there was a lovely, there was a lovely advert. Sorry, man, uh, Pepsi. I just want to give it to you. It was such a, it's a stunning advert. It was like, it was in the year three thousand and thirty, right? Like a hundred years or a thousand years, whatever, away, right? And it was an archaeology thing. And the school kids were with the archaeologists, and they uncover this bottle of this Coke, old Coke bottle, and the kid says to the to the archaeologist, "What did, what is this?" And he looks at it and he goes, "I have absolutely no idea." And then they all pick up, pull up a Pepsi and drink the Pepsi. Ooh. Okay? Like, like in 3000, Pepsi will still be around, but Coke okay. will be high. What you, yeah. yeah, amazing. And this, is, yes. and this is because they're willing to dominate. They're willing, mm -hmm. to, they're willing to get dirty, man. They're right. willing to right. do whatever it takes.
Yeah. Ah, I'm getting all excited. <laughs> I'm getting thirsty. Send me a Pepsi. <laughs> Hey, for the people on Facebook, man. for the people on Facebook, um, if you're enjoying this, um, go like, uh, go share, go comment, ask Stephen and I some questions. Go and like the Ying Yang Sales page on Facebook. Um, number one, number two, we have a YouTube channel. Go and check it out, subscribe, and number three, um, look out for our upcoming events. Go check out our website, yingyangevents.net. We have some amazing events and opportunities coming up. Hey, Stephen, I'm getting thirsty. And in the interest of thirst, um, let's, let's evolve this conversation a couple of steps. So now we agree that we have to dominate. Um, it means that I have to change my mindset. I have to become more than I've been before. I need to be hungrier than ever. I've got to have so much belief and tenacity that I dominate, A, myself. The, the Kool-Aid I drink and sell myself every day is so powerful that I go into the workspace, I go back to my customers, I hit the phones, I hit the roller decks, I hit the streets banging on doors because I'm a man inspired, I'm a man on fire, I'm a man convinced that if I don't take down the buck tonight, my family will starve. Let's talk about some of those. Let's, let's do three inner game um, ideas that we can help people raise their dominate. And we'll do three, and have you given one already? Um, people are better off because they use my product. I bless people with my product. <laughs> um, but but you, we can give three each and then we can um, take it towards a close. So from an inner game point like, of view, to raise... Like affirmation things or, or concepts? Yeah, or, or, or all the five master beliefs or affirmation things. Oh, yeah, yeah. All of those. Yeah, so, so listen, I, I think I'd like to go a little bit deeper if you don't mind. <laughs> and, um, you know, just, you know, I think we need to recognize that, you know, while the, the world is your stage and this is a play, um, we are not just um, limited to what's in the script. You know, um, you know, most or many of the best actors actually, um, what's that word? They improvise. They improvise uh, at the, you know, on on the spot. So I think I think we need to we need to get tougher. We need to get thick skinned. We need to we need to set some goals and then. Uh, work out what it takes to get there, and then actually do those things. And and we we need to to give in less quickly. We need to we need to fight a little bit more. You know, in sales, in sales, you know, ask for the order one more time. You know, ask uh, you know, overcome one more objection. Ask one more power question. Don't give up so quickly. And uh, just actually, you know, one of the things, Vanish, is 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 let us let us make a decision that we are good salesmen. Let us make a decision that we are professional salespeople. We're not in this for the money, for the salary. We're in this for the commission, for the lifestyle, for, yeah. for, for great things. We, and and yeah. we're professional. And professional salespeople ask power questions. They ask qualifying questions. They, you know, when you're in the sales presentation, even that is a domination moment because there are two, there are two kinds of salesmen, people, right? One, you go in, you have a lack of chat, but the prospect actually directs the, okay, so, so tell me about your product. You're in trouble right away. Yep. No, no, sir. Um, before I tell you about my, and, oh, and what is the cost? Oh, before we go there, let me understand right. your, you know. Right. And then the other that sits down and dominates that sales asks the, the power questions that lead to a sale. Okay, the, the, and they are, they are cleverly thought out. When, so when you think of, of people or, or cultures that dominate, and uh, you know, I know it's a horror, it's a hard word, but 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 their plans. Think of a think of the a bushman who's wanting to uh, you know to 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 get a, a lion or a elephant or a something to eat. They they'll do an ambush. They'll they'll think they'll the winds coming here, so it mustn't smell and we must here. And and one of our friends can throw a stone over there that'll make them come here into this place. And then we've got the poison. And the poison's just enough that it kills the animal and not us when we eat it. And there's, there's a plan. Right. There's a plan. And sales is exactly the same. It's not, it's not a willy-nilly. Well, you know, while we do say the more, the more, if you see more customers, you'll get more deals. But you also at the same time want to up your, your conversion rate because yeah. you've got better, because yeah. you're thinking, because you're dominating. Yeah. When you go into that sales meeting, it's to get the order. Yep, yep, yep. And that's how overcome the objections. Yeah. 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 Uh, so can those be my three? 
Moistra. <laughs> I take all six. <laughs> well, said, well said. Listen, Ooh, um, yeah. so, you know, from a, from a, uh, from a, from a mindset point of view, um, so those, those are the actions, the activities. I love it. And you spot on because without that, you're in trouble. You're, you're on the receiving end. You're going to be the little, the little guy or girl just saying, yes, sir, no, sir, to the person who's directing the sale. But, but I, and, and I like what you said, make a decision that I'm going to become a professional salesperson and I'm going to have a strategy. I'm going to have plans. I'm going to have words. I'm going to have pictures. I'm going to have closes. I'm going to have a whole system built up and I'm going to paint this guy into a corner where he goes, boom, yes. So, so absolutely concur. But, and talking about this mindset, um, you know, what is sad is to see salespeople go from one company failing to the next company and failing to the next company and failing to the next company. And it breaks our heart because if they just stopped to make that, that number one investment that I'm going to do everything I can to become a professional salesperson, understand the sales cycle, understand the profile of the client, understand the sales process, understand all the moving bits and parts, my competitors, understand everything so that when I'm, when I'm in a sale, I'm going to close a sale. Uh, the, the gods, the odds are stacked in my favor because I'm so much better prepared than the competitor. The competitor is coming there and they're going to wing it. And they're going to hope for a sale. The professional salesperson already has the plan laid out and he's got multiple plans. He knows if he goes there, I'm going to go there. So, um, so part of that mindset is um, A, become a professional salesperson. B, is, is make a commitment to learning. Because you can only grow from learning and experience. So when you experience, most people never stop to reflect. That is why the same people go through the same lessons repeatedly and never learn from it because they never stop to reflect. But when you're learning, you can, you can actually go, oh, this is the methodology. I'm doing that. They're not related. Let me align them. So make a decision that become a professional salesperson. Learn, 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 learn. Why? Because you're going to get better and better and better. Imagine a sharp axe. And you were talking about this at the end of your point, Stephen. You're talking about efficiency. It's not just volume. When I become a great salesperson, I can do less calls with a higher close rate. And that's efficiency. Yeah. So as you learn to get better, um, you develop more efficiently and you use and cons you consume less energy and you produce more energy and output more results for your business and your company. And the third thing I want to say about, about this mindset and then learning is you never stop learning. And, and I think people seem to think that because I've finished school, I'm done. I've graduated university, I'm done. I've done the yin yang sales boot camp, I'm done. No, you ain't done. You're just beginning. <laughs> In the evolution of man and mind and, and, and heart and soul, you, you never know everything. And you know that famous saying, um, um, the, the more I know, the less I realize I do know something to that effect. I'm paraphrasing yeah. it, maybe, maybe screwing yeah. it up while I do that. But um, when, when, when you're committed to, to dominating the space, it doesn't just stop with sales information. It's also industry information. And then it's the economy and the effect on what's happening in your environment. And then it's customer psychology. Right now, who's studying customer psychology? Customer psychology is, it's COVID-19. I've got no income. What's happening to the customer? Where's his mind at? How do you pull him out of wherever he's stuck and say, yo, man, I know you don't want to spend money. I know you've got fear. How does the salesperson do all of that? Folks, um, we, we're approaching um, towards the end of our stream. We've got three people on the line. You want to say, uh, please like, comment, and share. Go check out the Yin Yang Sales um, Facebook page. Connect with Stephen and I. Stephen, you want to talk up tomorrow? We're doing a talk tomorrow, 10 a.m. for people who'd like to join us. Yes, indeed. So uh, we've got a, a, a 90 minute intro uh, sales talk, uh, sales bootcamp as such, or, or sales little seminar, mini seminar, uh, 40 minutes or so of the inner game, 40 minutes of the outer game. Um, if you'd like to hone some of your skills and, and just get some more insights into how, how this inner and outer works together, how this yin yang works, um, you know, we'll be, we'll be live at, uh, at 10 a.m. But what I do uh, do that so that you can join us in it. For those of you who are more interested in lifestyle mastery and and, and just broadening it into into the seven areas of life and etc cetera, etc, cetera, then you know join us at twelve o'clock and we have a you know we have an hour and a half uh, talk there. 
uh, just around lifestyle mastery and how you can improve your life. Once again, just, just mixing the inner with the outer, taking action, getting clear, making goals, and then taking some steps, uh, taking some actions to, to manifest what it is you're, you're after. What are you after? Ooh, yeah, get clear. Most people don't know what they're after. Yeah, indeed, indeed. So, you know, there's Confucius, a man who chases two rabbits catches none. <laughs> so, so let's get yeah. singular yeah. focus, man. Get singular focus. Get tunnel vision for your goals. Um, yeah. And, I mean, Stephanus, as, as opposed to Confucius, what Stephanus is, like, if, you, if you're after a rabbit, then you can say no to the buck that, that manifests on the way. No, no, I'm after a rabbit. No, yeah. think I'm after a rabbit. Yeah. You know, yeah. Instead of, if you don't know what you're after, you'll go after the buck. Indeed. And then when you get the buck, you go, but I'm still not fulfilled because you wanted a rabbit. Yeah, yeah mankind, eh? Mankind. Are you, are you yeah. running the system or is the system running you? <laughs> All right. Awesome, so, man. So, go. No, I'm done. Oh, yeah. Okay, fantastic. So, um, good people, number one, join us tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. sales info webinar. Stephen and I will be sharing an hour plus minus together about how you could take the necessary steps to think and create and then take the action to produce the results, your sales and your business, your team needs. If you're a sales manager, sales director, um, MD of a company with a sales team, get your team on board. It's a free talk. Um, even if they just get inspired and motivated to do more, we're happy that you're there. Um, ideally, you want to stay till the end because Stephen and I would love to give you some gifts. Uh, everybody who comes on the stream stays till the very end, gets a, a gift valued at 500 Rand, compliments of Stephen and I um, to help you in your journey to greatness. And then again, at 12 o'clock to reiterate, join us for Lifestyle Mastery. It's really about stepping out of your mind and focusing on creating the life you want. Not the life you're living, the life you want. A lot of us are here by circumstance, not by design. So we wanna design the future. So um, come and join us tomorrow at 12 for those of you who are not in sales, um, but come and join us for Life Mastery. Mr. Van Basten, parting shots before we wrap it up. Yep, listen, if, uh, if, you, if you want to change, uh, change your life, you, you need to make some changes. That's I know it doesn't sound so profound, but if you meditated on it, it's very profound. If you, if you want to change uh, your outcome, you need to change uh, some of the stuff you're doing. And we'd love to help you do that. Join us. Find us. Come on one of our courses. You'll be so pleased you did. Hey, man, um, I wish I could show you some videos and testimonials. We've got hundreds on our website. Go and check them out. We're literally touching lives every month, um, helping people go from, from broken to broke to profitable. Hey, you could be you too. Um, taking people from, from failure um, to, to clarity, where, where everything seems to be imploding around you, to get that clarity about who you are, where you're going, what you want to produce. Go, go check out those testimonials on, on YouTube. Go check them out on our website. But come and join us. Um, give yourself the gift of a beautiful future and let us help you on that journey. On behalf of the Ying Yang of Sales, Mr. Stephen Van Basten, rocking it. Where are you at now? Are you which part of the world are you in? Alberton. He is in the south in Alberton. And State Africa. Listen now. Um, so we meet next. Be great. God bless and keep on keeping on. Sayonara, Totsins. Fruto. Boom.